alikuwa amekwambia you're no longer part of this clan it was tough yeah because when we decided to name the children it was our decision only the two of us what we didn't realize <laughs> it will affect so many things they thought ah, now you see i told you to get and joke now you see kisumu <laughs> see. is influencing me <laughs> good evening lovely people it is always good it is always good to have you on board yes and it is 15th of april year 2022 the year of our lord jesus christ tuko katikati ya mwezi sijui kama maisha imekukalia ama wewe umeikalia No matter what the Lord is still reigning and we thank God for his faithfulness. Welcome on board. This is Couples Will Show and this is where we write down our love with when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And that is why every Friday at 9:45 we come to you and we bring you different couples who come to share their journey with us and other people who come to tackle different topics so that we can build our marriages you know we always say here that this show is not monologue so would love to know where you are watching us from and also what you are learning even as we continue and tonight you are going to enjoy because i'm hosting a lovely couple they have gone through issues of life and i want to encourage if you know of someone who have ever faced separation or right now maybe they are separated let them watch this show because this show it is dedicated to all those people who have been separated because i am having a couple who got married for four and a half years and then they separated for 10 i mean 10 years and today they are back together and raising their kids together what a story i am hosting the gaduras and my name is willy kinyash na ukipenda the undisputed ama dr love and this is wema tv the voice of hope hi guys Hi. Hi. Karibuni sana. Asante sana. Good to have you here. Mm. Thank you. You can say hi to our viewers and uh, introduce yourselves to them. Hi. My name is Caroline. And I'm glad to be here. Yes. Hi, my name is Moses Gadura and I'm glad to be here. I'm born again and I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that your parents Yeah, we are parents. Uh -huh. Yeah. Of uh of two kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are Favor and uh, Joshua. Mm -hmm. They are both 13 years old. Uh -huh. They are twins. Wow. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Karibuni sana. Santi. Feel free yeah. and enjoy. Yeah. Let's have fun. Yeah. And you you have a very touching story. Mm -hmm. And I I know be uh, getting there. But before we get there. Yeah. How and where did you meet? Okay. Who will start this <laughs> this bit? Let, let the ladies do it. Uh -huh. Ladies are good at narrating. Uh -huh. Yes. We were in a school of worship mm -hmm. called House of Tefila. I don't know if you've ever heard about it by Jack and Jess. They teach uh, musicians or worshipers from churches. Yeah, on that journey of praise and worship and how to worship spiritually not just sing so I'm, uh, i was from a different church sitam valley road and it was from pca pca umoja but that is where we met uh, it's interdenominational so people come from different churches so i'd gone there and uh, that is where we met I think the first time he was in level 2 I was in level 1. The first time I got there when you are in level 1, you know when you are a fresher you are new in school you have name tags. Mm -hmm. And he, he read my name so I remember him saying hi Karo Olilo and I was like how does he know me then I realized oh I have my name, name tag. tag. <laughs> 
Yes, and uh, that is how the friendship began. Yeah, he started talking to me, and uh, the journey began there. One time he asked me out. I, it was, it was not easy. Those days, ladies, we were very tough. It was hard to get a girl, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he tried many times to ask me out for coffee, but uh, I turned down the offer. He persisted until one time I was like, okay, let me just go because this guy has been on my case, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I went for the coffee, uh, I realized that he was a very pleasant guy, wise guy. <laughs> I fell in love with his wisdom. I liked him because of so the did, word you, he spoke. you did fall in love with him, but the wisdom... First of all, <laughs> <laughs> the wisdom, really. Yes. I remember telling him uh, the issue of the Samaritan woman mm -hmm. who met Jesus and went back and said, uh, the, there's a man who will give you living water. When that Samaritan woman was meeting Jesus, uh, I don't think, uh, in fact, she was like, us Samaritans don't mix with Jews. Mm -hmm. So why are you asking me for water? Yeah. But she realized there was something more to that than just water so she went telling others so when i met uh, moses he was tall dark i'm not sure handsome because he was skinny <laughs> <laughs> and ladies i think mm. when we are young we, we, we want a masculine build you know <laughs> we have uh, those days i don't know about ladies nowadays <laughs> i don't know about you out there young girls <laughs> the digital this generation mm -hmm. but my time mm -hmm. Used to go for TDH, yes. tall, dark, and answer, uh -huh. but built. Uh -huh. But you know, you know, he was tall, dark, uh -huh. and skinny. And skinny. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm saying I, I first of all fell in love with his wisdom, wisdom uh -huh. when he spoke to me. Mm. I just went for the sake of, oh, this guy has been asking me, let me be polite yeah. and just go and meet him. Uh -huh. But when I spoke to him, I was like, wow, I've met guys out here, but I've never met one like. So I was like one. that, the Samaritan. I've seen one with living water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh -huh. I liked him for that. Uh -huh. And uh, then I mm -hmm. fell in love with him, and our journey started there. Mm -hmm. We were very good friends. Mm -hmm. We quoted like for two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two years. Uh, maybe before mm. we go to courtship, mm. uh, you know, every time I ask this question mm. where people met, mm. I, I always get different versions. Mm. Yes. So that is your version. Mm. Let us hear his version. Oh, yeah. oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's true. We met at House of the Fila. So you, you're in agreement? Yeah, we are in agreement. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's where I first saw her. Uh -huh. Yeah, we in the house of the Fila, there are guys that are there to do instrument, mm -hmm. vocals, mm -hmm. and others dancing. Mm -hmm. So she was one of the dancers. Oh, yeah, wow. We, uh, she those, can dance? Yeah, she can dance. Okay. Yeah, so... Mr. Producer, maybe I, before we wind up the show, <laughs> we need to have some music here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but choreography. <laughs> the worship choreography. Uh, okay. Yeah, the worship one, uh, you know those ones, yeah. Ah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I just saw her mm -hmm. and I, I fell in love. I knew this is someone that I can work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I started asking her out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took time, mm -hmm. but... Uh, it took how long? Uh, I can say the, maybe a month or uh, so. Was not yeah. <laughs> okay, the courses were running, I think, for two mm -hmm. months or three months. Okay. So before that course was over, mm -hmm. at least we had gone out. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And then after that? Now after the course, we continued seeing each other. Mm -hmm. Now we built our relationship slowly by slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, can say things took off from there. There is this particular night yeah. that she fell in love with the wisdom. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things did you tell her that <laughs> made her feel? Yeah. Ah, this guy is full of wisdom. wisdom. I'm the only one who can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Share with us. Yeah, I think 
Uh, he was wise in the way he handled matters, even to do with relationship. He was very real. Because I think when I met him, mm -hmm. I felt like uh, I'd, 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 I'd uh, encountered or met other guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, most guys, most guys are normally, they break, I mean, they break ladies' hearts. They're never serious. They're never committed. Mm -hmm. So I was like, uh, men, men are just the same. Mm -hmm. He didn't deny that they, you know, other men will always tell you. Me, I'm different. I'm very <laughs> different. <laughs> they handled, you know, pra he was very practical, mm -hmm. yeah, in handling things, mm -hmm. things that are real. He did not really spiritualize, you know, because yeah. I'm born again, me, I'm different from those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, okay. Uh, Men are, they are men, they will always be men and he is sorry mm -hmm. on their behalf. Oh, he wow. did not even promise that you will be different from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I found that very practical because I've had uh, met and had been in a relationship or one or two. Mm -hmm. And before you get into the other relation, the other guy will always tend to be the angel. You met a devil, but now here you have an angel. Mm -hmm. Only for you maybe to realize later on that they Is belong a bad devil than the, the, the other, than the other devil. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he allowed me to just let him know that to know that he's human mm -hmm. yeah and he's a man and he's human mm -hmm. but uh, he didn't pretend to be somebody else which I found was very wise of him and practical realistic mm -hmm. yeah wow. And uh, even when he spoke about things to do with God, mm -hmm. biblical, spiritual, mm -hmm. he was full of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That is what attracted me to him. He was different from those other guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, my guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So after, after all these dates, eh, yeah. at uh, what point? Uh, did you realize, I think now we need to take this relationship to a higher uh, note? Okay. I can say that, uh, yeah, we quoted for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Now it's because in relationship, you know, everyone is taking time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have identified the person, mm -hmm. but you still want to be sure. So you are taking time to study. Mm -hmm. So in courtship, uh, there are those that do courtship for six months, mm -hmm. uh, one year. Mm -hmm. Ours went on for almost two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So we were still going out, meeting uh, each other's friend, mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. You are trying to introduce this person from afar. You bring them in a certain ceremony. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is after that time, two and a half years, mm -hmm when I decided to remove a ring and uh, surprise the, wow. uh, the girl that I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the name Gadura. Yeah. Gadura comes from uh, Central Kenya. Yeah, I think Central Moranga. Yes. Yeah. And uh, she's uh, from Kisum. 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 Yeah. When you, when you break the broke the news to the parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am getting a lady yeah. from Western. Yeah. How was the reaction? <laughs> my <Good> question. <laughs> my uh, obvious there were some issues. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. uh, but they accepted it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obvious, you know, Kikuyu Luo. Yes. Uh, others can even bring politics into it. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously it had some issue. But uh, if you are mature enough, mm -hmm. you have made a decision, mm -hmm. your parents have raised you in a good way, mm -hmm. they also come to embrace what you have decided. Mm -hmm. So my parents supported me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But of course, before they supported you, there are some issues. Co yeah. What are some of the issues that arose? Mm. I can say, yeah, like for me, my mom was so honest. Mm -hmm. You grew up in a uh, Presbyterian church. Mm -hmm. There are good ladies there. Mm -hmm. Now, 
<laughs> what has made you to think <laughs> to cross over all the way uh -huh. but i think when it comes to love it is your personal decision mm. it it's what you feel mm. because i saw her and i knew mm. this is the person mm. so uh, then god my parents are born again mm. so there were, uh, there was not so much mm -hmm. into it mm. but you the uh, sense uh, be careful mm -hmm. take it slowly mm -hmm. are you sure mm -hmm. Then by the time after two and a half years, mm -hmm. because I think immediately we started dating, mm -hmm. I, I almost informed them. Mm -hmm. So we, they saw us together for almost one and a half years. Mm -hmm. Now they, they were also sure this is what I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. What about you? Is, were there some challenges that you faced when you say that you're getting married to a young man who is coming from central Kenya? Yeah, certainly there were challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when I, my, in fact, my late father was a politician. Uh -huh. So, and you know, politics is what has made the two tribes to mm -hmm. be at loggerheads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, getting to, uh, to learn about uh, Kikuyu. So I was wondering, ah, you didn't explain all those guys in Luland. Mm -hmm. Why all the way uh, go to Central? But uh, my father is a very, in as much as he, he was political, he was a politician, he's a principled, he was a principled man who would also give somebody an opportunity to make their decision and when you convince her to go home. Mm -hmm. I remember I was called home in a very, diplo he's very diplomatic as well. He will not tell you I've heard of something. Mm -hmm. He just told me, ah, it's been, because I was staying with my sisters in Nairobi, mm -hmm. my parents were in Shags, mm -hmm. up country. Mm -hmm. So he said, ah, and I was in, I just graduated, I think, from college. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, since you've been so lost, when are you visiting home? So uh, the, the, his reason for calling me home was not because he, they had really missed me, but because he, has, <laughs> he had overheard. Yes. So when I got home, he started from far. Oh, so is Nairobi, his life, mm -hmm. and social life. Mm -hmm. Do you have someone? <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't eat it, the nail on the head. Uh -huh. So I said, yes, I have a friend. Oh, okay. Oh, from mm -hmm. where? Ah, huh? oh, really? <laughs> okay. So uh, this side, uh, you never saw any <laughs> potential, you know, mm -hmm. around Kisum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why those sides? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he was very polite and diplomatic. He just, mm -hmm. uh, and normally, by the way, my father was a strict, harsh man. I think our prayers, we used to pray about it. Mm. Yeah, now that we knew, when, and especially when he told me that, the mother was asking, oh, you didn't see Kinanjoki Wairimu Kopis, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the mother was like, oh, you know, hey, those guys from Kisumu or Luas, they have so many traditions. Gee, will you manage? Yeah. But indirectly, maybe she was discouraging. Mm. When I had that, I went to God in prayer. I like to pray a lot. Mm. So, and through that you are praying, we realize intercultural won't be easy. Mm, yeah. So, I believe that's why my father mm. was spiritually under God's control. He wasn't so harsh. Mm. He didn't just say, no, you cannot marry this tribe. Mm. He needed to get how serious I was, mm. how committed. Mm. Yeah. So, he asked a few questions mm. and said, okay, anyway, you've made up your mind and you're, you know what you're doing. Mm. Then it's okay, it's well. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that was the greatest miracle because mm -hmm. I thought my father, it would be worse with them, with mm -hmm. my dad especially. Mm -hmm. Yes. But God yeah. intervened. God intervened mm -hmm. in a very special way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they eventually, they didn't give us much headache. Mm -hmm. There was no headache. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Mm. So after... You, you say that uh, you get you quoted for two years. Yeah. Uh, then the wedding 
mm-hmm. happened. Yeah. And uh, how how was the dowry? The dowry. The dowry payment. Oh no, this is uh, now you having uh, mm. coming from this side mm. of Kenya and yeah. them. Really. So they, you see, they they have they we do things differently. Yeah. Uh, were there some challenges when you were paying your dowry? Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, now but it was interesting. Mm-hmm. The dad was so good mm-hmm. because it's through those challenges of culture and what mm-hmm. some people had told me, hey, prepare. Mm-hmm. You'll have to escort several uh, ngombes mm-hmm. <laughs> for kilometers and lead them to their village. Mm-hmm. Now, when she had gone up country the second time, mm-hmm. the dad told, told her, mm-hmm. just let him come. Vile watakuwa mebeba baasha. So we uh-huh. didn't do anything, the uh, kettles uh-huh. and other st- funny stuff. Uh-huh. So in fact, I only went with a nanko and a cousin of mine. Mm-hmm. We traveled uh, uh, overnight, mm-hmm. got in Kisumu in the morning, mm-hmm. showered in some place, mm-hmm. straight to their village. Mm-hmm. And uh, in less than an hour, mm-hmm. we, we are done. We are done. Ah. <laughs> uh, they had prepared a big feast. Mm-hmm. We ate and came back the same day. Wow. Yeah. So there were no challenges? There were no challenges, yeah, ah. because the dad was so good, mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. Mm. This is after now they, they have accepted you and yeah. they are okay? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Now, I want us to come and uh, now uh, talk about the wedding, mm-hmm. how it happened, okay. how you guys came together. Mm-hmm. But this is after the short break. Yes, I am hosting a lovely couple and they have an amazing journey as i said as you were starting they were married for four and a half years then they separated for 10 years and today they are back to the roots and they are enjoying their marriage so if you're out there and maybe right now as you're watching this show and maybe things have gone haywire and you've separated, there is hope for you. As I see this couple here, I see hope in them. And so even you, there is hope for you. Be going deeper and listen to what happened. And after all, how did they overcome all those challenges? After 10 years, they decided we can continue doing life together. This is Couples Will Show and this is where we write down our love when we are alive but we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under and that's the reason why the Gaduras they had to come and sign their love on this lovely show. Let's continue listening to their story. You've taken dowry now you've been blessed by the parents yeah. and you've been uh, told now you can go ahead mm. and get married. Yeah. Was there a wedding? Yeah, there was a wedding mm-hmm. and a big one. Uh-huh. And uh, let Carol share that. Yes, women <laughs> are good in the uh, keeping such details. And detail. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. yes, there was a, a wedding. Mm-hmm. We did uh, a wedding at uh, my church, mm. which also became his church. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, that is Sitam Valley Road, mm. on the twenty eighth of October, mm. two thousand and six. Mm-hmm. It was lovely, mm. glorious, mm-hmm. and uh, we gave glory to God. It was we found a lot of favor. We wanted a very simple wedding being very realistic people, we had just started work. Mm. And so we did not want to really burden people with a lot of, you know, mm-hmm. you come up with unreasonable budget and you, you load it on people. Mm-hmm. We need this by this time, so you get a committee. So ours, we did not do that. Mm-hmm. We called a committee actually to tell them the committee was for responsibility, duties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll be in charge to help us with all those duties. Mm-hmm. We had already raised some fund and we made a very simple budget. Mm-hmm. 
But when our friends came to be given the duties that they would carry, they were asking, we've never had you call us for, for, for what is it called, raising? Pre-wedding. Pre-wedding yeah. or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. When are you guys raising? We said we already have the money and we are trusting God for the balance. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yours will be an usher, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. They were finding out so far what have we done. We had paid some money for cake and all that. Mm -hmm. Those expenses, decoration, we wanted something simple. What mattered was we. We are united uh, through church, mm -hmm. through the wedding. Mm -hmm. Then uh, friends offered to add more to what we had budgeted. Mm -hmm. They said if it's vehicle you want, You've said you need these vehicles to carry relatives. We'll give vehicles and we'll give together with fuel and all that. We'll fuel the vehicles. Mm. Decoration, our friend said, no, you can't have such simple nini. I will, wow. I will still add more to that. Mm. So that's why I'm saying it became such a big thing. Mm. In as much as we wanted it to be simple, mm. courtesy of our friends. Mm. Oh. God sent, yeah. and so we found God's favor. It was a beautiful, I remember some friends, our friends asking, they wanted a wedding like that, and they wanted to know the budget. Mm -hmm. But we said, oh my, this was meant to be a simple thing. It mm -hmm. became so, <laughs> so what? Mm -hmm. uh, elaborate, mm -hmm. not because of us, but because of God's favor. Yeah. Yeah, so the wedding was very beautiful, and in fact, after the we came from honeymoon, we used to pray a lot, by the way, prior to our wedding, because of this, the prayer items included the intercultural to find favor, and we prayed a lot at Aboretum, until the trees, I think, knew us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, after the wedding, we went back to Aboretum and said, Wow, we found a lot of favor in our wedding. One time, should we get, I just proposed, should we get, God give us a child? Can we name the child? One of the names should be God's favor. And he said, yeah, that is good. And in case this child is a boy, we can call the child Joshua favor, favor in Kikuyu, mm -hmm. because uh, he said he loves the book of, Joshua. Is Moses so he loves Joshua? I didn't understand. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. so the wedding was beautiful. Mm. And out of the wedding, we got our twins. We ended up naming one Favor. Favor is a girl, mm. and Joshua is a boy. Wow. We didn't know God would give us another Favor of, of double. Uh -huh. And that is much later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. But the wedding was very, very beautiful. Mm. I can't forget it. Wow. Mm. And there is something she has mentioned. Yeah. And uh, you find many men, especially many men fight with this. Yeah. Uh, when you're getting married, yeah. uh, and the men would say, mm. it is you, Hama Kanisaenu, you come to our church. Yeah. How was it like yeah. that you're the one mm. who moved from your church, church and went to her church? Okay. <laughs> okay, she got me at a time that I was in PCO Moja mm -hmm. and I, uh, I was also in a ministry mm -hmm. that was going doing outreach mm -hmm. outside Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So I, it was easy for me to make the decision to join her. Uh, that uh, at Valley Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I didn't struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I had served in PCA for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I was there in the youth fellowship, mm -hmm. a good fellowship, strong guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I had grown past the youth. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't know how to enter now past the youth. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a friend who was doing full-time ministry, mm -hmm. so I joined him. So at that time, I was not really so much in PCO Moja. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in a full-time ministry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and I have seen young couples fight over this issue. And yeah. maybe I would, I would love you to speak to young couples. Yeah. Maybe right now, there is a couple watching and similikwambia hata yu unaweza hama wakasema hapana hati ni wadada u hama. Okay. Speak to young couples out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll say normally it's, it's individuals that complicate things. Mm -hmm. I, I, si lazima ikuwe utafuata mwanaume uh -huh. mi ndio mzee we will go this side just look oh, oh, where are you blessed uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. because uh, she had grown up in Sitam uh -huh. and see now she has she has grown up to be a beautiful and a spiritual lady uh -huh. I, I really admired that uh -huh. uh, i was aware about the Sitam uh, ministry uh -huh. So why not join me in uh, Sitam? Uh -huh. So I followed uh, uh, her and we joined Sitam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is okay for that young man to follow that lady. Yeah. As long uh, as it is just they are teaching the true word the of true, God. True word of God. Yes. And it's also okay mm -hmm. for a lady to follow the man, mm -hmm. not because he is a man, mm -hmm. but because you have seen something in that individual. Mm -hmm that is blessing you. Mm -hmm. And it's also wise to know Nikanisa mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was quite okay. There are, there are some who will not agree and they say now we need to look for a neutral. <laughs> now, <laughs> and honestly speaking, how do you look for a neutral place mm -hmm. when I have grown up in my in a uh, certain church mm -hmm. I've seen their way of doing things. Mm -hmm. She has also grown up in a different church. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you look, identify a neutral church? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm mm -hmm. So it's always good to pick a church mm -hmm. that one of you has been attending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After all these people, they also supported you. Yeah. When you were getting married, when you are preparing for the wedding, yeah. they worked with you. In fact, my P members of PCA Umoja mm -hmm. supported me for my wedding. Mm -hmm. So the, there was no issue. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, <laughs> I, 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 I know of a couple. Yeah. Um, uh, the lady, yeah. the church where she was attending, yeah. it was a very good church. Yeah. Uh, and even the guy who married her, yeah. he really loved that church. Yeah. But now he had a challenge yeah. because he was saying, I, I love this church, yeah. but I'm feeling if I join you, mm. my people, my family, yeah. they will say, Nimekaliwa. Nimekaliwa nilafuata mwanamuke. How, how can you, how, what do you say about that? Hakuna uh, kukaliwa, and that's uh, in marriage, by the way, small issues and matters. Yes. By the way, they can explode to something, mm -hmm. even which church to go, mm -hmm. which state to live, mm -hmm. and you find small matters, mm -hmm. but as an individual, mm -hmm. don't complicate an issue. Mm -hmm. If she wants us to go to the left, mm -hmm. Uh, it must be a right. Mm -hmm. Just find out why do left? Mm -hmm. What is in left? Mm -hmm. Is there a problem if I do left mm -hmm. eh? and not right? And not right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so if I know people mm -hmm. complicate matters, mm -hmm. we must have an open mind mm -hmm. in everything that we do in marriage mm -hmm. because we'll never, there are things that you'll we'll never see the same. Mm -hmm. You'll always have different opinions. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that is very key, being open minded. Yeah. I think that is very key. True. So if you are a couple out there and you're struggling with this thing, where do you go to church? You know, be open minded. Mm. Sit down, have a conversation and have an argument. Yeah. And it is between the two of you. Do not involve a bad party. Yeah. It should be the two of you. Yeah. Wow. True. That is nice. Mm. How did you how did you feel that he accepted to join you in your church? I know many ladies who think now when I get married, sasa ni kusema kwa hey, kwa church yetu, I go to the how how was it like that when he said yes, I'll join you? I felt good. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt good because uh, I I guess the most important factor is who is sitting or lying on who, but uh, the doctrine of the church, yeah. 
So because it's a doctrine, pure, pure biblical doctrine, it's not prosperity. They preach salvation and the kingdom of heaven. And that is what he saw. He visited before we got married. Mm -hmm. He visited, I was also in the youth fellowship called the Young Adults Fellowship. Most of those friends that came to support he had met. And in any case, the ministry was participating in. Uh, we also visited. Mm -hmm. I also I visited with the youths from my church. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we had visited the two places. Mm -hmm. At that time, he had, I think, left PCA. Mm -hmm. He was fully in the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, because he was once a youth leader in PCA, mm -hmm. he had that support of the youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think things just flowed. They were flowing. Mm -hmm. The youth from my church visited the ministry. Mm -hmm. During the wedding plans, the, the duties that you are giving, the duty bearers came from my church, from the PCA youth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we were in harmony. Uh -huh. We did not <laughs> struggle. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, if I'm to talk to couples mm -hmm. or people who are considering getting married, then I should uh, always advise them that you look at the doctrine, what matters. Don't look at the gender or equality issues uh, because you're founded on Christ, the solid rock. Yeah. Actually, Sita means Christ is the answer ministry. So look at Christ. What are you getting from Christ? It's not about what I'm getting from Moses, who is the superior one or the inferior one. Mm -hmm. It's about where will I be nourished mm -hmm. spiritually. Mm -hmm. So let's not bring many issues, mm -hmm. factors that are, they are, they are, they are non-issues, mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. they become major issues. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Right. Yes. Wow. Then after that now, the wedding is, is over and now, here comes the marriage. Mm. How was it like? Mm. Yeah, now here comes the marriage. Mm -hmm. Real life now yes. has started. You know, at times we concentrate too much with wedding. Wedding. And we don't take time <laughs> to pay attention to marriage. And, marriage. Uh, plan <laughs> yeah. about marriage. Mm. So that Saturday it's gone. Yeah. Uh, after what we have cut a cake, <laughs> they have all disappeared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What next? What next? <laughs> Obviously, the, the honeymoon was good. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it mm -hmm. with our little budget. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had no money for the honeymoon. Mm -hmm. I told that we trust God. Zile envelope to tapata. Zita to support. So, kama hazikuji, tutakula lini yumbani. And God was faithful Amen. because we had a small budget mm -hmm. so when you are talking about honeymoon mm -hmm. we obviously we had plans mm -hmm. but maybe for a day or two yeah. and within nairobi mm -hmm. but the envelopes were good yeah. we were able to travel outside nairobi wow. to kind of coast pamoja mm -hmm. <laughs> that mm -hmm. kaji enjoy mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so now we came back to nairobi and life started mm -hmm. we were living in umoja estate mm -hmm. uh, and uh, life was good mm -hmm. uh, the first year, mm -hmm. second year. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are just the two of you, yeah. life is so sweet in marriage that uh, we, in fact, we were operating from the bedroom for almost more than one year. We were a sitting room, but we were in the bedroom. <laughs> Muna pitanga mkienda job, breakfast, dinner, bedroom. Uko ndo meka TV, kila kitu. Even the extra room you don't visit. The sitting room was like a corridor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ya kupitanga. Yeah, so uh, life started so well and it was good. Wow, yeah. wow. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice memories. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Then after two and a half years, the babies came. Yeah. And maybe we can hear from Carol. Yeah. Yes, we had we had planned and trusted God from the counseling that it's important for couples mm -hmm. 
to at least get to know each other in a relay. Don't just get a baby immediately yeah. because babies also come with responsibility. Mm -hmm. So we had trusted God at least one year or two. Mm -hmm. Then we start trusting God for his gifts of children mm -hmm. or a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in two, 207, and there's one more important challenge that we had. Mm -hmm. We got married in 206, and you remember there was 207 and post-election. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But we were able to overcome. It mm -hmm. wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. I understand that time many couples separated, separated because mm -hmm. of politics. Mm -hmm. But we weathered the storm of post-elections. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, it's 207 that uh, we conceived. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, 207 or 208, uh, there are about, then our children were born in, in, we were very glad to get news of going to get twins, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, mm -hmm. we did not know the gender, mm -hmm. yeah, their sex, mm -hmm. but uh, we were so happy we were carrying mm -hmm. twins, mm -hmm. then they were born on 24th mm. of November 2008 mm. at Nairobi Hospital. Mm. They came comfortably. We were ushered in with a lot of favor, like one of them is called. Mm. In fact, when we were going home, the nurses <laughs> did not, they were feeling sad. They loved Wow. They loved the, I don't know, the company of the twins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we went home. Mm -hmm. Life began and the real parenting transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I got them through us years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the real life of parenting started and responsibility. At least now you are able to access the sitting room and other rooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and also get a third party. Yeah. yeah. The maid. The the house help. The house, the house help, help, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And responsibility started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were lovely children. Challenge started from there. Mm -hmm. The intercultural started. I think right when I was at the hospital, mm -hmm. now that we got a baby girl and boy, mm -hmm. and uh, m my mother-in-law, his mother, mm -hmm. my, my father-in-law had passed on before the children were born. Mm -hmm. So as people came to visit, you know, in Kikuyu, I think, not I think, mm -hmm. rather, mm -hmm. People are reincarnated through names. Yeah. So when there is Wanjau, there will be many Wanjaus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Different lineages. Yeah. Yeah, so it was so obvious that uh, uh, my mother-in-law is called Julia Wairimu and father-in-law, the late, is Wallace Mungai. So as people visited, she called in to visit at Nairobi Hospital. They were like, they have come to visit Julia Wairimu mm -hmm. and Wallace, Mungai and J Wairimu. Mm -hmm. so they when we were quoting, <laughs> by the way, during at the school of worship, we were taught about even naming. Mm -hmm. Our uh, naming also affect many things spiritually. Mm -hmm. So there is a couple, Kikuyu couple, both of them are Kikuyus. Mm -hmm. Willie and Liz. Yeah, they had said they set that uh, precedence to us. They said they will not name culturally. And it brought a lot of trouble to them. Mm -hmm. They didn't name after parents or traditionally mm -hmm. or other culturally. So even us, we had said from what we had been taught that we will just name neutral. And remember we had said there is a Joshua. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and God's favor. Mm -hmm. We tried to look for a name in Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. uh, favor in Kikuyu, we, couldn't, we were getting sentences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we settled, we just said, ah, they'll be named in English. Uh -huh. We'll just say favor in English, mm -hmm. whoever that child is. Mm -hmm. But now that we got to, so the girl was, there's a Joshua. Mm -hmm. Definitely favor will be the girl because mm -hmm. a Joshua is now a boy because we had chosen two names. Mm -hmm. Then we said we'll name biblically because you are told you can name in your language but but uh, but what? Biblically. Yeah. So 
Joshua is Joshua Mukena mm. and uh, Favor Motugi. Goodness and mercy, I believe, mm. drawn from Psalm 23 in Kikuyu, he did it. Mm. So we had already had the names for the children, but now that brought issues. So challenge started from there. Mm -hmm. As I was healing from the CS relatives, meeting was being planned because they learned that the children have not been named culturally. It brought a lot of issues. Mm, the, my mother, my father had also passed on, so my mother was informed that she needs to come to Nairobi. She was elderly, mm -hmm. so, and I have, mm, I'm the last born, so I have uh, elder sisters in Nairobi. So my mother was told, uh, summoned, that they need to have a sitting regarding, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. regarding naming. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother, I'm sure she wondered, hey, what's the big deal, you know? But, uh, no, I can't talk for her. Anyway, she said she would send, uh, she would delegate, she delegated that meeting to my sisters who are in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So when my sister came, the uncle and the mother came, my mother-in-law. So we had a sitting. I think it was, I was like three weeks from hospital. Yeah, I was still healing, so they came. I was weak, very a bit weak in physically, you know. Mm. Yeah, breastfeeding, weak healing. Mm. Yeah, mm. so I was not talking, uh, and of course we had been counselled and told, you know, when you have issues, it is your person to talk to you. If there are issues with on my side, mm. it is not him to defend himself. So we already had that wisdom on how to go about it. So you, you keep quiet and all that. So he, they were able to see it. They tried to, to what, reason with us, negotiate, and find out actually why. Then he explained how we arrived at the names. Because perhaps they thought, ah, now you see, I told you to get a joke. Now you see, Kisumu <laughs> see. is influencing them. <laughs> but they yeah, were... Influenced negatively. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. in fact, our children are called Joshua Wema mm -hmm. and Fever Nehema. Mm -hmm. The Mutugi is the third name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we said we even go neutral when it comes to second name because now it's about naming even my mother would also want to we are not coming from the same culture you know if mm. you are from the same culture mm. then uh, they would uh, they would understand that they first start from this side then mm. they move to the other mm. person and you know some of us kenyans especially from central we value land yes <laughs> many other threats came but i think what really affected him was being disinherited <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. For me, you ask me, we probably learned, but not that much. Yeah. So I was like, you know, properties, God can bless us. Yes. But I didn't see that really changing his opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, feelings, yeah, mm -hmm. it somehow affected him because, again, our father in law had left some chunk of land mm -hmm. for them to share mm -hmm. and had even told us about, yeah, he, we are originally from Moranga, but uh, they were hailing from Joro. They moved from Moranga to Joro. Mm -hmm. So there was, there were acres of land mm -hmm. in Joro that were to be shared. So uh, that must have affected him. Hey, mm -hmm. not getting even like a small parcel. <laughs> now I'm being threatened anyway. It looked like a joke, but uh, there were so many meetings with the cousin to convince him to change the names, mm -hmm. but we had made up our mind. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the challenges that started coming. For me, I also felt stressed. I'm getting, to, it's a transition from a young girl, married, bride, children now, being a mother. You're supposed to be paying attention to the children, especially their two. But the other issues, cases, you know, yeah. So that didn't go well with with us, 
but I, I, we had a lot of mutual support from one another. We encouraged ourselves, we prayed about it. We consulted even the leaders from Tefila. Yeah, they encouraged us. Yeah, and uh, then other responsibilities came. You wanted to ask me about the children. The children came with other responsibilities, buying diapers too. Mm -hmm. And diapers would go very fast, you know, because mm. there are two of twins, them, yeah. twins, mm. yeah, food, milk, what, yes, uh, I was in formal job and him, he, he is a business guy and sometimes business can be challenging, yeah, so the real reality of life mm. comes, you know, um, yeah. finances, you know, mm. these children need to feed. We just, we were just the two of us now, suddenly we are like five, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Those are realities, maybe Actually, you are not, not like forced. Five. You are five. five. You are five. You are five. The drinks and the houses. <laughs> and sometimes you get a house and cook and really eat. Yes. <laughs> so you need to feed the people. Hey, hey, I don't want to yeah. Especially when they come from certain regions. Yeah, <laughs> and those are the ones who are told they work very well. Yes. Yeah, now, 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 now from those sides of my region, yes. you don't be shy to talk about it. Yeah. And they need energy to take care yeah. of the twins. Yes. It's not an easy job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So, the real responsibilities of life would hit. Uh, yeah. So those small challenges started coming. Yeah, with the babies, mm -hmm. and they will affect, mm -hmm. yeah, how we handle them. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know if you want uh, us to I proceed want to or go in, to Moses. Uh, Moses, yeah. and, uh, when when your family yeah. uh, came came in now, it's like for me, it's like they are fighting you because of the way you decided to name your children. Yeah, uh, how did you handle that? Hmm. It was tough, yeah, because when we decided to name the children, it was our decision, only the two of us. Mm -hmm. What we didn't realize, <laughs> it will affect so many things. Mm -hmm. Now, it's true, the name that appeared on the birth certificate, it's what matters. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, we came out of the norm, what is meant to be done mm -hmm. traditionally. Mm -hmm. uh, but I say again, Every couple has a choice to every matter. Yeah. Ours was to name the children mm -hmm. in Swahili name, mm -hmm. to make it neutral. Mm -hmm. That was our choice. Mm -hmm. There was no hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. I had nothing against my, my, my parents. Mm -hmm. I respect them. Mm -hmm. I, I believe I respect them from the day I was born mm -hmm. up to date. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was nothing personal. Mm -hmm. But the repercussion was uh, different. Mm -hmm. Uh, I felt bad for the first time when uh, a meeting was brought to my house mm. with my mom, my uncle, mm. a mom that I love so much, I've respected. Mm. But by the time the meeting was ending, I would see the disappointment on my mom's face and uncle. Kwanza uh, zile uncle ame kwambia, you are no longer part of this clan because of this and this. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like uh, you were disowned. Yeah, it's like I was disowned. Mm -hmm. And I felt bad because having been gotten born again at an early age, mm -hmm. obedient to your parents, mm -hmm. I've never done anything to my mom, Kumuona mm Mekua, -hmm. disappointed this much. Mm -hmm. So it affected me in so many ways. I kept uh, silent. Mm -hmm. I had my stand when they were leaving the house. What she didn't realize is that it really affected me. Mm -hmm. So it kept on building, mm -hmm. but uh, I, was, uh, dis it, uh, I was disappointed with how things turned out mm -hmm. because uh, it's just the name in Kweli. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are kids, mm -hmm. they are your children, mm -hmm. your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you at any point reach to a point and say it? Mm. I think. For the sake of my peace, yeah. <laughs> I think, let me just change these names. <laughs> did, did you ever come to such a point? 
No, I, it didn't come to that place, mm -hmm. but you would sense it has also affected her. Mm -hmm. Because any time I would go to visiting my mom, you would feel any kuna kitu too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it always hanged there. Mm -hmm. There was always that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't do it this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it, it's not that we even stopped talking to my mom. We continued, but you'd feel there is something. So I, we, we stuck with the names, mm. no matter what, mm. yeah. Had you mentioned to your parents before the kids were born that this is what we are thinking? No, we didn't mention. Uh -huh. But when we realized that we were getting twins, mm -hmm. we mentioned to my mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the mom also, and my mother-in-law. Mm. So we didn't mention about the names. The naming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. Maybe that's where the challenge came in. Mm. Yeah, maybe you could have prepared them. <laughs> this is this is what we are thinking. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But, but it's okay. How how is the relationship now with your with your parents? With my parents, uh -huh. yeah, we, it is good. Mm -hmm. She's very supportive. Mm. In fact. Uh, when uh, now, uh, how, how do I put it? When now we were coming out of this wilderness for 10 years, mm -hmm. my mom really encouraged me. Wow. Go back, get back your, your lady. I resisted. Mm -hmm. the, there were several issues, mm -hmm. no stucky, mm -hmm. but she's one of the people that told me, go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So the children are here, mm. they are two and a half years. Yeah. What is this challenge that came in mm. that made you to separate? To separate. Mm -hmm. Let me see, she had mentioned some of it. By the way, when you, when you are the two of you after the wedding, mm -hmm. wow, things are just super. Mm -hmm. You're enjoying everything. Mm -hmm. But when kids come in, mm -hmm. by the way, world is turned <laughs> upside down. Mm -hmm responsibilities come in. Mm -hmm. uh, number of hours are entire. Uh, you, you don't enjoy the sleep mm -hmm. as you used to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everything was just a challenge, but I would say one was uh, for us. Mm -hmm. The finances were tough, mm -hmm. starting from the diapers. Uh, we lived in Umoja in Islands. Mm -hmm. The challenge of water is still there, mm -hmm. like any other estate in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a day we used to to do our calculation. Mm -hmm. There was a month I noticed uh, the number of water, the jerry can that you buy from guys from uh, Mkokoteni, mm -hmm. the hand cut, mm -hmm. was more than 4K. Mm -hmm. And this is Manzeli he put down. Mm -hmm. So I walked to the market, they, they have a bowl. Mm -hmm. On inquiring, mm -hmm. a truck of uh, water mm -hmm. is only three five. Now, mm -hmm. you may spend four k. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, immediately after knowing that, mm -hmm. I organized the the whole flat. Ni kambi a minimum letter maji. Ni three five. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, I started selling the water. Ah. Guys enjoyed it, eh? and it's even cheaper mm. because I think we were buying a jerry can in Umoja for thirty bob. Mm -hmm. So you'd see the the strain that you get when mm. you're having kids. Kila mm. sakuna fuliwa nini. So the finances are a challenge. Mm -hmm. You are not resting. I mean business. Mm -hmm. Business, it's up and down. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there was the business, mm -hmm. uh, the finances, mm -hmm. the naming issue mm -hmm. that had uh, kept quiet on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, other stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was a tough time. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 you also discover you're not having your quiet time. Yeah. Because that's a new by major. Mm. Morning to evening, there are so many movements. Mm -hmm. So when you discover your quiet time in Akua, in Apunguka, mm. so you are hit directly. Mm. Because the enemy knows how to turn something small, kuyongeza mm. volume and yeah. make it big. Mm. And you feel as if now you are cornered somewhere. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. And so at, at what point, point now came and you guys said, I think it's, it's better now we go different ways, Carol? 
I think also one thing that is, I came to learn much later, there were so many challenges that came at a go. And uh, some of us, like myself, I didn't get a break or a debrief. Because uh, in 2012, January, my late mother had already lost my father. Immediately after the wedding, mm -hmm. a month, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy for me. Now come 2012, that is four years down the line, my mother pass, passes on. And uh, challenges are there, finances and what. So I'm not given time to for, bereave, for, for I grieving. Mm -hmm. I did not grieve. Mm -hmm. I came to learn through, you know, you talk after mm -hmm. you've parted ways. Mm -hmm. So that time when I'm grieving and there are many other challenges, my husband is supposed to maybe understand me, support me, he's not around me. And... Uh, he, his business premise uh, apparently is in the neighborhood where he grew up. So many factors came because now his parting from his home was not as easy because, I mean, it didn't really make much difference to his mother. The, my late father-in-law is not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... I believe he spent a lot of time. The mother is also the last one. Mm -hmm. So that attention, getting it from the mother, mm -hmm. his premise for business workshop is in the neighborhood. So, and the mother would always ensure that he would call a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. Even when he's not there over the weekend, the mother is like, uh, today you didn't come. So there was that rivalry of time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, feeling he's spending a lot of time at his place, yeah, in that neighborhood. And me and my children need support. He's always away, even he's only around on Sundays and all that. Here I am, I'd lost my mother, I need somebody to help me even with the babies, adults' attention. He would come back late. Then he got uh, some project somewhere in Athi River, and he was even coming later. And the finances, when you don't sit and really plan well, the enemy will creep in, especially if you're not praying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the prayer life is talking about the devotion. Mm -hmm. Couples should actually have their devotion together. Mm -hmm. Pray separately, but also pray together. So. That also affected the relation. The enemy crept in before we knew it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he comes very late, and you know, as ladies, then you'll, we can be good at nagging. Mm -hmm. So, when he's late, I would complain and nag, you know. And you know, um, for couples out there, when you're nagging, you'll push your man away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the more you nag, the more they will come late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You think he'll make them come. Ali. Nag in prayer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you should nag on your knees, mm -hmm. not to the man. Mm -hmm. So me, I was thinking that would make him. But when there's noise in the house, believe you me, your guy will be gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so you shouldn't do that. I mean, we learn. Mm -hmm. The term we use commonly nowadays is that that was a wilderness, real wilderness experience. Mm -hmm. The 40 days of... Israelites, for mm. us, it was mm. our 40 days. Mm. So during that 40 day, I mean, wilderness yes. challenge experience, you learn a lot of lessons. Where did you go wrong? You came to, you come to learn later mm. your mistakes. Mm. So yeah, so I would complain. Now you're coming late and I'm not seeing the impact, mm. the finances, you mm. know, and 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 uh, we need more. The more the later you come, the <laughs> more money. you know it should uh, <laughs> yeah. affect. You know yeah. the returns mm -hmm. should be felt. Mm -hmm. We are not feeling this return of lateness. You yes. know, <laughs> so it brings a lot of issues, challenges in the marriage. And as you push your man away, the man will might also go to get attention from other people. Yeah. The devil will wait. Mm. Who are these other people? They could be other ladies. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
And so, yeah, I started having suspicions of maybe him being unfaithful, which he came to reveal later was not the case. Mm -hmm. And then even when you're having challenges in marriages, you'll, instead of going to God in prayer, you'll also seek for help from your peers. Mm -hmm. Those are peers, people you got married at the mm -hmm. same time. Maybe the husbands are also having similar. Mm -hmm. I mean, challenges are common. Yeah. So maybe you'll sit with your girls and they'll tell you, hey, that guy, He's in fact, I never, I trusted him so much. I never even thought of this, such a, a vocabulary called unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. I think I came to learn it from a friend who told me this lateness, it's not about business. There must be and believe you know, if you allow the enemy to, mm -hmm. to, the enemy can use your own friends, yeah, yeah people mm -hmm. that you know very well. Mm -hmm. They could be right or wrong, mm -hmm. yeah, so I can't say they were right or wrong, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but uh, they. Uh, I mean, as you discuss, perhaps it's happening to them mm -hmm. and they think it happens generally to everyone. Mm -hmm. So I was being told, I mean, from our chatting mm -hmm. with girls, my, my girls, my ladies, who we have a common factor, we're in marriage and having some challenges, I came to learn men can be unfaithful, so you better try, you know, trying to find out why this guy comes late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know you become, uh, there's mistrust. Mm -hmm. So you want to check that phone, mm -hmm. but you are unable because I think uh, there are passwords, mm -hmm. and now when there's a password, it will bring an issue. Why is there a password? Yeah. Why can't I access? There's something. And you, you just become, the enemy will whisper many things. Mm -hmm. You see there's a password? Mm -hmm. You see when uh, there's a phone call, it goes somewhere? Yeah. And maybe it's just a business person or mm -hmm. what? Actually, that was the major thing that came now. Mm -hmm. I started being very suspicious mm -hmm. of this lateness, and I capitalized, and then I capitalized on that. Mm -hmm. So, it would come late, I would be very late because, I mean, very it's tired. Mm -hmm. I want to go to bed, he hasn't come, so the house help him go to sleep. Go to sleep. Uh, the moment he come, I just leave him with the children because the children don't want to sleep without their father. Mm -hmm. So I'd leave him, he's in the sitting room and the food is there. We've, it has been warmed as he had already eaten because we couldn't to eat, he has mm -hmm. delayed. So he'd be there playing with the children. Then one moment, one time, the children were a bit irritable. It's like he was not giving them attention. Then I went to check. I was just standing uh, at the corridor, try to check why the children were not uh, in me. Uh, why the children were, were what? Grumpy, crying, crying, yeah. So uh, I saw their father was on phone, but for a long time. So I said, you know, my suspicion, that must be. <laughs> And, and all along, because of finances, you are not in good terms. You are no longer those lovers, best friends. You are just like enemies, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you are not in good terms because you are suspecting, he's coming late, you are nagging. So uh, I was like, no, in fact, you are not communicating well. You are no longer mm -hmm. good friends. You are what? Everything will be affected, your intimacy and all that. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, so we, I was like, now everything, if I can add all these things, mm -hmm. hmm, they are telling very well. Yeah. 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 And, and I'm, I'm being told that our time is up. Oh. Our time is up. And oh my goodness. there's no way we can leave this hanging. So before I let you go, you must do the second episode so that we can finish the whole story. Is that okay? Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Because yes, our time is up. Okay. okay. Wow. Did you hear that? Instead of nagging that man through to him direct, nagging in prayers. Talk to God. Tell him. This man is behaving in certain manners. Father, change him. What are you doing? There is no way we can leave such a sweet story 
hang it. So make a date with us come Friday because we will pick it from where we have just left. Now this is the story and their story have just begun. Because as we started I told you, they separated for 10 years. And so as they come or as we continue, they'll be telling us what happened within these 10 years. So make a date with us next Friday. Yes, and I was hosting the Gaduras. They are coming to us from Sitam Valley Road. And on Friday, we continue with your story. This is Kapo's Wheel Show, and this is where we ride down our love with when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under and my name is willie kinyash i'm at the undisputed now keeping a doctor love and this is weber tv the voice of hope for now it is a good night god bless you and god bless your marriage and your relationships while it's on a friday mm -hmm.